So it's been a long time, but this is gonna be a very interesting video. What is up, my realist? It's Stephen. And has this specific situation ever happened to any one of you? You're listening to your fave musical song, and you're singing your heart out, and you think, Wow, I sound good. Let me record this. So you do. You sing your heart out. You kind of feel like you're on a Broadway stage, and you think you're the next Aaron Tveit, even though you're only 5'6", and you're a brown Filipino kid. And then you play it back for yourself, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. You know, I get a lot of messages asking me why I only do lip sync videos. I mean, you guys know that series of videos, right? The When You're Obsessed videos. And if you've been following this channel, you know that I have done a ton. Literally, they're responsible for probably half my viewership. And side note, they're all very embarrassing. Like, play at my wedding level embarrassing. I look like a dying fish flopping around on a dock most of the time. But I do lip syncs instead of actually singing because I can't sing. Do you know how much that sucks for someone like me, okay? Half my albums on Spotify are done by various artists, okay? Do you know how much that sucks for someone who went as Evan Hansen for three Halloweens in a row? That's like God saying, okay, there's a really nice cookie out in front of you, but haha, -ha, you can't eat it because you're allergic to cookie dough. I honestly feel so repressed because I know I would make a bomb-ass Broadway star. And I would be if only I didn't sound like the vocal equivalent of Squidward's clarinet. <laughs> I mean, I can dance, ish. I can act. Ish. I can enunciate really, really well. No, Epony. I did not know that you loved me. And I already practiced my bow. But just like Eurydice getting out of the underworld, it was never going to happen. And growing up, I kind of tricked myself into believing that if I worked hard enough, maybe I would have a chance. Because if I believed in my dreams, then they would come true and all that Disney Junior bullshit. <laughs> I actually really wanted to be on stage when I was younger. It was probably like my biggest dream. I don't know what kind of love and affection was lacking from my childhood for that to be the biggest dream, but yeah. The thought of like 2,000 people emotionally connecting to me and then afterwards clapping because of how amazing I am is something that my ego just like craved. You know, I even took voice lessons so that I could improve. But I remember every voice lesson, the teacher like wouldn't teach me any techniques at all. Like they would just sit there and make me sing songs on my own. Aren't you gonna teach me any, like, technique? Keep singing. Looking back, I think she thought that I was completely hopeless. But like, you know, she was getting 50 bucks an hour, so what did she care? I remember when I told myself that I wasn't meant to be on Broadway, like, it was yesterday. Because it probably was yesterday, because I've been in denial every single day. But, the first time I did it, I knew what was coming, but like, I had to sit myself down and have like a talk with myself. <sighs> Listen, there's something I have to tell you. Am I adopted? What? No. Are you adopted? I am you, d- Oh. I'm here to tell you that you can't sing. What? <laughs> okay, good joke. Okay, we both know I can sing. <laughs> Woo. And I haven't recovered since. I'm sure a lot of you can probably relate because I know a lot of people that watch this channel are theater fans. And I'm assuming not all of you can sing, okay? I'm hoping at least some of you know the struggle I'm going through. And I used to be so jealous of my friends who like did know how to sing, but they like weren't using their voices anymore or like they weren't making use of their talents. They'd be all like, oh, I don't sing because there's too much competition. Well, bitch, let us trade voices then. You want my voice box? We can go through surgery and everything because I would rather go from rejection to rejection to rejection than like not have a shot at all. And I'd be so jealous of my theater friends because there they are on stage being different characters and everything and I'm over there in the audience just on the literal sideline not even the sidelines you're a spectator that's what like that's what that's what it is so I would like to dedicate this video to all the repressed theater actors out there such as myself kids that want to be on Broadway so bad but have a voice that will only get them a dollar begging on the street and I just want to tell you 
it's okay. Life isn't perfect for any of us. And sure, it's hard to let go of something you've dreamt of for like ever. But you know, it just might lead you to what you actually want to do with your life. I knew I still wanted to perform in front of people. I knew I still wanted to create art that would inspire so many people. Even if I couldn't sing, that's all I wanted. I wanted to be able to inspire other people and just make another person smile the way musicals and movies and television shows have done for me. So I made a YouTube channel and here we are today. So thank my sucky voice because without it, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. And instead of 2,000 people, my videos have now accumulated a combined 4 million views. Not that bad if you ask me. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, click the subscribe button, the like button down there. My past videos are to my left and to my right. This left, right, right. And down below are my social media stuff. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Till next time, guys. See ya!